Thank you for tuning in to Music Marvels with the Chick with Beats and Breezy Gibson. I am music producer at Chick with Beats. And I'm entrepreneur Breezy Gibson. And we're glad that you've joined us once again today. And a super huge shout out to our home station, Grander Radio out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, and Sparks Radio out of Atlanta, Georgia. And, uh, you know, just another show, just chock full of music industry news. Of course, we've got Beats by Yours Truly. And you want to tell them a little bit about who we've got coming in? Oh, man, we've got the one and only Mr. Johnny Porter coming along with us. He's got all kinds of tips for musicians on the financial side and life side. Okay, so, hey, you know, that's going to be very uh, enthralling about what he has to share. So, hey, you know, I can't wait for that. Right, right. Me too. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and give it to him. What do you say? Oh, let's, let's, hey, push a button, push a button. (laughs) All right, let's go.
we're back with music industry news. First off, the three major music companies generated a billion dollars more in the first half of 2023 than they did in the first half of 2022. Isn't that Mm -hmm. wild? Yeah, that's truly, truly wild right there. A B billion dollars. (laughs) Right. I I mean, so, hey, number one, somebody's working. Number two, somebody's putting some stuff up for sale. Number three, somebody's purchasing. Mm -hmm. Man, you know, what a cycle. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, if you want to take a look at that even a little bit deeper, that one billion in the more than before the three major labels uh jointly generated 12.99 billion in the first six months of the year which like i said it's a lot more than what they generated from the previous year but this figure means that they made about 72 million dollars per day or roughly three million dollars per hour well <laughs> Hey, mind-boggling, mind-boggling statistics. Totally mind-boggling. Yeah, could you imagine that? Making seventy-two million dollars a day. Ooh. Cha-ching, cha-ching, <laughs> cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Man. Yes. And speaking of cha-ching, uh, the South Korea-based uh, entertainment giant Hive is acquiring B Lift Lab, which is the label that's home to K-pop stars in Hyphen. And this was a $100 million deal. So Hybe is buying CJ ENM's 51.5% stake. So now they have total control over it. So it'll be interesting to kind of see what comes forward from that. I mean, they've been making a lot of big purchases lately. So you know that they've got some stuff in the pipeline. And, you know, it's just amazing to sit back with a microscope, a microscope and just watch the efforts um, as these as the tabulations are just coming through you know watch the efforts of the folks that are behind these these um moves you know that's that's mind-boggling yeah all right and a report shows that uh, uh ticket scalpers fund major groups claiming that they serve fans so the ticket buyer bill of rights coalition which is comprised of the consumer federation of america Fan Freedom, National Consumers League, Protect Ticket Rights, and um, Sports Fan Coalition. They all receive funding from StubHub, Vivid Seats, and other major ticket resellers. Isn't that interesting? (laughs) Very, very interesting. How about that? (laughs) Yeah, so it kind of begs the question, whose interests are they protecting? Are they really for the fans? Or where they get their bread and butter? Well, I can already kind of answer that question. It's the bread and butter side. And, um, you know, that hey, that never stops. All right. So, yeah, just something to be aware of. And as more details pour out, we'll make sure that we share them with you. Yes, yes. Hey, PRS for Music and PPL have partnered with music tech company Audu uh, to improve music royalty di- distribution. So Audu... Audio meters are installed in cafes, bars, hair salons, restaurants, uh, different retail locations all across Britain. And basically, they're aiming for accurate and transparent royalty distribution to music creators by identifying the background music being played and reporting the usage back to PPL and PRS for music. So uh, there's been a few uh, innovations that are quite similar to this, but hey, you know, all of them are in a step in the right direction. It's great that um, there are options out there for these places to choose to have. So, you know, every time a new one pops up, it's something to celebrate. Yes, something for somebody to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, creators, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. All right. Duolingo has been spotted developing a new music learning app. So, you know, their flagship language learning app has been doing really well, but now they're going to focus on piano, drums, and sheet music lessons as the company kind of expands beyond just language learning. So prior job postings that they listed kind of imply that they're going to be teaching concepts in music theory using popular songs. So that'll be kind of interesting to see how this does. It sounds like it'd be a really, really um, good opportunity that we're probably going to hear a lot more about later. 
Yes, yes. I'm interested, you know. I mean, uh, that should pique the curiosity of a whole lot of folks out there. So, mm -hmm. uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's been a report that kind of exposes that music industry executives are depressed about the current state of breaking new pop artists. So, you know, there were these studies that went around and most of them have basically just confessed they don't know how to break new artists in the current environment right now. So, you know, we keep talking about these articles that talk about TikTok being something that's kind of throwing a monkey wrench and everything. So, you know, the next artist could be viral and they can't quite determine how to make it work that way <laughs> with uh, disruptors like TikTok. Well, Hey, if you can't beat them, join them. Right. So if they're sitting back twiddling their thumbs trying to figure out A, B, B, C, well, just uh, jump on the TikTok train and other trains mm -hmm. and uh, let that momentum serve as as a a, a fire, light, you know, as a switch mm -hmm. to get them to get them going. Exactly. Okay? And uh, I mean, hey, if you can't beat them, join them. Right. I couldn't have said it any better because. Yeah, what, what's driving it is that people are choosing what they want to hear instead of letting labels spoon feed them. So, yeah, like you said, just do what they're doing. TikTok's letting people right. do their thing. And yeah, now we see where that's going. So isn't it nice yeah, to be yeah. able to have a choice? These, You know, <laughs> like, yeah, it, it's a wonderful thing, I think. I, I agree with you totally, wholeheartedly. <laughs> so, um, you know, Run with what's successful, and mm -hmm. don't don't sit on don't sit on the sidelines twiddling your thumbs when somebody's scoring touchdowns or somebody's making baskets or somebody's making money. And and if you're in that same environment, uh, hey, you follow follow the leader as long as the leader is winning in the in the uh, in a legitimate way. You know, mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah, very well said. That's, that's um. Um, just a tip. Well, it's, a, it's just an average business tip. Um, even in brick and mortar stores in, in various locales around the world, um, if there's a successful, if you're in a business and there's a successful brick and mortar location in that business that you're in, and, <laughs> and, and if you're open to um, uh, creating a brick and mortar business, then it behooves you to go close to where that um, successful location is and, and build yours. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you got a street that's, that's, that's being known for whatever that um, vocation is, whatever that product is, uh, uh, and, and more people you're going to gain by being in the neighborhood of another successful endeavor that's in the same business that you're in so mm. like we say don't sit on the sideline twiddling your thumb trying to figure out what to do if somebody over there on 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 one two three street has got it going then you best go over there on one two three street and get yours going too mm -hmm. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> hey. message <laughs> yep. All right. Sony, uh, Universal, and other music labels are suing Internet Archive over a uh, streaming collection of digitized music from vintage records. So the suit claims that the Archive's Great 78 project functions as an illegal record store infringing on 2,749 sound recording copyrights. And so these include songs by Frank Sinatra, Ella Fitzgerald, Miles Davis, Billie Holiday, and more. And so the Internet Archive compares itself to a library that claims to, in quotes, uh, provide universal access to all knowledge. And so they, their Great 78 project encourages donations of 78 RPM records to digitize to, in, in quotes again, ensure the survival of these cultural materials for future generations to study and enjoy. It sounds really, really nice, but yeah, you're still taking somebody's copyrighted music. So according to the website, the collection includes more than 400,000 recordings. And so the damages could potentially reach about 412 million bucks. So yeah, we'll have to see how this plays out. 
I couldn't even tell you one way or another who I think will win because you never, never know. But uh, that's definitely copyright infringement. <laughs> hmm. Well, we got. Yeah, I agree. I agree. We got to sit back and watch that one. Yeah. All right. After raising fifty-four million dollars, Futureverse is uh, unveiling Gen One text to music AI generator on the world. Eleven different companies merged to form Futureverse late last year, and so the company asserts that their technology achieves a notably higher perceptual quality. So it's about eighty-five point seven out of a hundred compared to the existing methods, which are about eighty-three point eight out of a hundred. And so Futureverse kind of infers that their edge over the competition comes from basically examining the complexity of music's wide frequency range and then uh, the need for higher sampling rates in order to capture the nuances effectively. So with their program actually understanding that and tr trying to compensate for how some of these ones that are generated by AI sound kind of cheesy, it's because they haven't really taken in the whole range to kind of know how to replicate something that will actually give it a real feel. And so with them saying that, hey, we're already improving upon this, then you know it's only a matter of time uh, before it improves from that. You know, once the ball's rolling, it might be something to be concerned about if, you know, they can train it so well that it can replicate human-made music. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know, there's 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 upgrades. You know, the key word upgrades. Upgrades are being made every day. Uh, mm -hmm. Many sometimes in in cases, many upgrades in a single day. So, uh, yeah, nothing surprises me now. <laughs> All right. Well, would you be surprised to hear that uh, X, aka Twitter, uh, X has filed a motion to dismiss copyright lawsuit? So X slash Twitter's lawyers argue that all three counts, so the first count was for direct copyright infringement, the second one was for contributory infringement, and the third for vicarious infringement should be dismissed for quote-unquote failure to state a claim. So the motion says that the plaintiffs don't contend that X acted with the volitional conduct that they have to actually claim that it's done. Um, they also say that they never alleged that X encouraged, induced, or intended to foster the infringement of the plaintiff's works or alleged the ability to post infringing content on the X platform as a draw to basically get more business. So because they didn't list these things, that's why X is saying, hey, all of this should be thrown out. I honestly don't know which way this one's going to go either. Um theoretically they've argued a good point but obviously twitter or x um knows that there's music that hasn't been licensed on the platform all other social media actually pays for the rights to use music except x i don't know which way it's going to go i know which way it should go but i can't tell you what's actually going to happen so we'll have to wait and see hmm well you know, some some folks come through, they want to push the envelope and, um, you know, certain standards or um, practices have been uh, established and there's always somebody that wants to come through and they don't want to do that. So mm -hmm. uh, nothing surprises me. So again, uh, let me get my popcorn out so I can sit back and watch this and see just what happens. Yeah. All right. And the zombies are acquiring their 1960s catalog. Um, the Rock and Roll Hall of Famers had acquired their catalog from Marquise Enterprises Limited, and that was the independent UK production company that they had originally signed with back when they were teenagers in 1964. So for the first time, the band members will completely control copyrights via their newly formed partnership entity, which is Zombie Partners LLP. So, um, you know, that's really great that they're you know, spending the money and getting it back so they can control it. Um, there's lots of things that they could do. They could hold on to it, you know, for their own, which is perfectly fine. But I'd be willing to bet 
that they might have had some people kind of sniffing around about buying the catalog and decided to get back control so they can sell it again. You know, that's a mm. possibility because the fact that Yo Gotti had bought out his record deal for around 400000 to 500000 and then created his own label in 2012. So now he's got artists like Moneybag Yo, 42 Doug, and Glorilla, and, you know, many more. So, you know, there's different things you can do once you get that control back. And so the fact that we're seeing this, you know, people are buying back catalogs daily, it seems. We have a different story about it nearly every week. So, yeah, I mean, you can obviously see that people are seeing where the actual value in music comes in when they're looking, you know, place it in um, movies, TV shows, uh, sports, as you had mentioned last week, I believe it was breezy. So, yeah, tons of opportunities. And the more that you can control your own music, that's what makes you uh, eligible for these deals when they come around. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, one thing about it, you know, it's like a checkerboard. If you sit back and don't do anything, nothing's going to happen for you. So you got to you got to uh, watch, uh, listen, keep your ears open and everything. Pay attention to, to trends and and um, and legalities and uh, I see what you can make happen for yourself. Yeah, right on. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick pause for the cause, and then we'll be back with our special guest. Okay, let's do it.
Hey fam, this is Breezy Gibson from The Breeze Team. How would you like to see an online platform that brings you people who've already indicated that they're interested in your particular type of business? Whether it's your music you're selling, hip-hop clothing, you got a restaurant or cafe, or if you're an entrepreneur or agent for a business, visit me at breeze2cheese.com. That's using the, the number two, breeze2cheese.com, or click my bio link on my Instagram profile to see a live demo of how this can help you get more customers and make more money. Hey, this is a chick with beats. I am a multi-genre music producer and strategist to indie artists and labels. Visit my website, achickwithbeats.com, for resources for artists and instrumentals available in various genres for songs, vlogs, blogs, podcasts, themes, TV, film, commercials, and more. Once again, that's achickwithbeats.com, A-C-H-I-C-K-W-I-T-B-E-A-T-Z. Let's make something happen. Oh, uh, yeah. Right now, you know, in this section of the show, of the show uh, i'm excited i'm really excited because we've got a gentleman with us who um is helping a lot of people okay so you know when you say helping a lot of people you know people start listening in closer and so without any further ado we're going to bring right into this section uh the one and only mr johnny porter okay and johnny right. porter is helping folks so johnny how you doing today sir man i'm doing well good to see you Brace. Good, good to see you. Good to see you as well. And so now, um, you know, we know a little bit about you and so forth. But for our listeners, you know, your first time coming around, joining on our show. So explain in, in a hot second just who you are and what it is you're representing on Earth as far as helping a lot of folks. OK, great. Well, my name is Johnny Porter. I am a uh, pastor. Uh, entrepreneur, and when you combine the two, I call myself a pastorpreneur. And okay. so uh, I am a person who loves to help people. And so I am the owner of, I'm actually the pastor of Living Grace Life Church located in Villa Rector, Georgia, and also the Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church. So I am a pastor, <laughs> and uh, but I've also worked in the field of hospice for the last 25 years. I'm currently at work right now as we speak, but uh, we I, I work full time, but also work on the side, making sure that I do everything I can do to help people. And so I'm the owner and CEO of Empower 365 Consulting uh, Enterprises, and we have several companies that really connect people to resources. And one of the resources are friendships, connections, colleagues, uh, all different types of platforms. And so when people come to me and ask for prayer, support, counseling, when we're done talking, I like to point people in the direction of help. And so uh, that's been the, the gist of my business. And so I am in the financial industry as a licensed insurance broker. Um, and I've done a lot of training and a lot of hours uh, just kind of being in the position to help people. So uh, I connect with groups that are, that are really just empowering and helping people to do things that will not only change them but change their family and their legacies forever okay okay we'll see in the entertainment business uh music industry you know the musicians and artists you know they're they're just zoned in on what they're doing as far as uh writing songs or uh operating the the uh recording equipment or setting up stages and things of that nature and and um and so a lot of times there's there's topics that they really don't uh get uh, connected with because they're busy doing what what they're doing on a daily basis so you know how do you see um the the need for awareness in that industry these industries entertainment and and uh, uh music as far as what you're doing isn't it a really really uh, uh impactful thing that they may be overlooking Oh, definitely. I'm a musician myself. I didn't include that because there's so much I do already, but I am a musician and I have, I hold two degrees in music. I have a bachelor's of science in music from Texas college uh, in East Texas, which is my alma mater, but I also have a master's of art in Christian music, study of church, uh, lit uh, church, uh, hymnody and all that stuff. So uh, I am a musician, I'm a pianist and drummer and some other things I like to play and I write and compose. My brother-in-law is also a famous musician in California and uh, worked for USC as well, but that runs in our family. And I can tell you as a musician, you gotta think like a musician when it comes to business, economics. I use the term polyphonic. You have to think about all the colors and different things that makes the music beautiful. 
and so is life. Um, when you're busy doing those type of things, you're living your passion while at the same time uh, connecting to resources and, and being mindful of, you, of your finances is vital and it's important. And we all have heard stories where at the end of the day, uh, people who made bad money choices, financial choices, ended up in ruins. And so you need to pay attention to that. And again, sometimes we put our trust in the wrong people. And uh, the more control you can have over your income and say, have some say and self agency over what happens to your wealth, the better. So as a musician, this is particularly interesting and should be of interest to 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 uh, to your listeners. This is very important. OK, now, um, a chick with beats and I are always talking about, um, you know, how musicians and, and, and artists surround themselves with folks that can help them uh, in many, many different ways that are crucial, not to just their career, but to their lives. And so now, uh, what are some of the building blocks of, of what your statement was? What is that, what's that concerning as far as, as their, their finances and things of that nature and their, their livelihood? Well, I think it's always important that you connect with things that won't disrupt your livelihood, that won't disrupt, but enhance what you're trying to do, mm -hmm. that will give you the freedom to do it. And really, it's all about connections and relationship. As musicians, we have a relationship in the band. When we are re when we play with one another, we can we can communicate without moving our mouths. There are certain things we have a call and response. We have a relationship that makes the music sound so awesome. Right. And so uh, just the same with, with your finances and your real life, you have to make sure that you have none of those dissonances that will disrupt that. And even when it comes to family, you need your family to be in harmony with you. You need them to work with you. And so you're looking for this harmonious relationship with everything you're doing so that you can live and do and be free to do the things you're trying to do. And so that's what I love about the companies and the, and the, business, the businesses that I represent. Uh, MWR Financial is the company that I'm sharing with you today, where we simply connect you to experts. In other words, we help you to know that you don't have to be an expert when you have an expert. So this is kind of the whole principle of what we do. And uh, we are literally the home of the instant pay raise. We are the home of where we simply try to help people increase, uh, uh, to increase, invest and protect their money. This is what we're looking at. We want you to not only protect your money, also your assets. And so, and I can explain to you why that's important because if you work all your life and you work hard for the little you have, the last thing you need to do is lose it because you made a mistake or you made a bad decision. So we try to help people to to increase, invest and protect their assets and their funding. So, okay, so. okay. Now you're, you're getting into some vital information. Um, so as a, as a musician or a person in those those industries, uh, if you're a father, you know, and you got children, if you're oh, and a husband, if you're a mother and you've got children or if you're not and even a wife, okay, or if you're single, you can't escape what you just said because it's all very impactful. You got to have your foot in there. And so by you bringing uh, experts to them that can help them uh, realize different uh, needs and necessities, I'd say that's a pretty good thing. Man, it's a great partnership. And you have to really think of it like this. I, I tell people all the time, you got to think of it as having a expert on a retainer. Right. If you have a legal plan, if you're like a part of a legal group, a legal club and you have protection, it's always a matter of when you're going to need them, not if you're going to need them. We're all going to need it at some point. Right. But you have access. And that's the big, big caveat that we can't miss. You have now access. And so if you have an expert that handles your business, that can do your taxes, that can help you to make investments that are non-risk. If you have access to, to those type of resources, now it's just a matter of picking up the phone or going online, uploading some documents, responding to an email, and just making sure that you are, you've got a plan in place. And a lot of programs, even in a church where we've taught Financial Peace University, Dave Ramsey and those type of programs, Crown Financial, we've taught those things. And a lot of times you still will find that people who go through those programs still struggle to get those things together. It's because they're having to do it themselves. And when you're a musician, when you're working like I do, like a nine to five, you're busy. You don't have time for that. 
But having experts who can work on these things, we have bill negotiators, we have so many programs in the MWR financial space. And so as you're working in that, you'll find that as you're working in that, you have access to those, to a plethora of resources that will literally make sure that your your wealth is being becoming real. And that's what MWR stands for, make wealth real. We are a wealth syndicate where we've come together with all these experts to make sure that we're getting everything you need to cover. So that's what it's all about. Okay, now, um, before, you know, I know a chick with beats is gonna come in with some, you know, some impactful questions for you, mm -hmm. but before she does that, give out your contact information because I know people wanna write that down and be ready so when the show is over, you know, they can fall back and they can connect with you. My, 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 my pleasure. So I wanna give out two things. One for me personally, for my Empower 365 business, but also for my church, because you may have some ministers on here who are church and kingdom focused. And if you're kingdom focused, I like to direct you to the church because what we did was we created an account for our ministry by creating a for-profit arm to Living Grace Life Church. And so we have a for-profit arm and I would encourage any person who happens to be a pastor and a musician to do likewise. And if so, I want you to go to that one. But if you are an entrepreneur and you're a business owner, even if you have employees, this will be perfect for you. Uh, and as a person who's working at home, who, who maybe don't have a lot of, you know, things going on, this is even better. And even if you do, this is better. So my, my business contact information is mwrfinancial.com, mwr financial.com and then put the slash and the code is empower365 empower365 that's my business and then for the church it's the same url mwrfinancial.com slash grace wt works grace gotcha. wt works and that's just that's for grace with the works that's the that's what our for profit arm is called okay well well, well i know it should be easy to hey but i i Hey, I'm not being uh, the, the, the time hog, but you've got me very, very enthralled as far as bringing this information to people in the music industry and entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, again, as I said, they're rolling, you know, they're trying to put some stuff together for a song and they're just completely oblivious to what you're talking about, and but they're missing out when they're oblivious. So now, so what do you have to say to them as far as just easing on into gaining some impactful information that can help them and, you know, kind of just kind of shaking them a little bit and say, hey, look, um, yeah. time is flying. You know, hey, you got to have your stuff in order. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't know what's going to be around the next corner. You want to flourish. You want your family to flourish and things of that nature. So um, just what would some of the opening statements be that you would have uh, for somebody like that? So if you got more time than money, you need to protect your money. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. You can protect your money. And this is important because, you know, we don't have a lot of time on this planet. And the time we have, we have to make sure we're doing what we're supposed to do. The Bible talks about how God gives us the ability to obtain wealth. He gives us the power, and that's in Deuteronomy 18. And so we can, I can say to every musician that, you know, if you got issues with credit, if you got issues with debt, if you have issues with trying Hold to it right buy there. a house. Hold it right there. Hold it right mm -hmm. there. Number mm -hmm. one, credit. Credit. Number two, debt. Debt. Okay, was that third one? We, we have people who need to buy a house. If you don't own a home and you're renting, you're throwing away money. We have a program that would allow us to buy the house of your dream, to buy your house right now, whether your credit is good or bad, we can buy your house. We'll become your landlord while our system is helping you to get all your stuff together. And if you don't have it together in two years, you can do lease option to buy. We can do that for you right now. We have programs like that. We have, um, if, you're, if you are putting money into a savings account, we have what we call a diversified cash flow savings account, which basically allows you to take the same take the same position that a bank does when you put your money in the bank. The bank uses that money. Your money is not in the bank, by the way. They will use your money, lean it out to several other people, and they put it into an insurance product that will compound interest at a level you wouldn't believe anywhere between eight to fifteen percent per person, and it is per dollar is growing i mean exponentially well we have that same platform where you can now bypass the bank and open up a a, a a diversified cash flow savings account we have programs like that no risk 
you have access to your money every 14 days. We can go into mechanics and you can go on our website and see more about it. We have a land banking program where the Olympus is going to be in Antelope Valley in 2028 where you can buy parcels of land. You can roll your 401k into that. You can take that Roth IRA and put it into that. And again, a 401k is only delaying your tax liability. Whereas when you get older, you're gonna have to pay taxes on it later to get it. Whereas if you pay the taxes now, roll it over into that, you're now lowering your, your tax liabilities. We also have a trust. And guess what? The trust is called a complex trust, which is run off of common English law, which means that the U.S. laws can't touch it. You do it legally. We help to lower your cost of taxable liabilities. We don't do tax avoidance. We, we just literally lower your chances of having to pay that. So it's again, we're not trying to teach people, teach people how to avoid taxes. We're just trying to lower it because it's not illegal to do that. We can set you up in a complex trust where now you can put your trust into a business. You can put it into a family trust and from a family trust into a foundational trust. And we've made that trust bulletproof. It's amazing. Okay. And it's amazing. And, and, and you you can uh, explain that to folks on a lower level where, mm -hmm. um, you know, you can meet them where they are so that they understand mm -hmm. uh, the uh, significance of what you're talking about. Oh, absolutely. In fact, uh, the website itself has so much content. I mean, you can YouTube just about anywhere and see stuff on MWR Financial, but there's nothing like being on the inside and connecting with someone to guide you along. And I do have an app. Uh, if you text me, I'd be happy to forward you the app where you can see some of the videos that I put together for for you. And I'd be happy to share that with you so you can do that with a QR code if you need that. And you can post it on your website if you like. Whoa. Well, now I look like a chick with beast is trying to get in there a little bit <laughs> with the comments. So, hey, let me back out of here. The floor is yours. Right. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Um, you know, so with all this knowledge that you just shared, just drop on us, um, you got that perfect blend of uh, right brain, left brain. <laughs> so how does being able to think like that kind of inspire you musically, personally for your career? Well, it, it, it helps me because it's given me an exit strategy. You know, um, I've been in healthcare for a long time, but ultimately I want to be free to write music again and just engage. And, you know, I, that's one of my first loves. I, I went to school for music and I don't do anything professionally with it other than play at church. But I have a lot of musician friends that I would love to catch up with and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I'm tired. And so I can see myself um, getting free uh, I, you know, executing my exit strategy from my regular nine to five, and, and we have to work. You know, as 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 a husband and a father, I have to do the things I sometimes don't want to do, just so that I can take care of them. But how cool would it be to be able to do what I want to do, knowing that my money is good? Because at the end of the day, a lot of us are doing things because we need the money. We're clocking in, we're getting up early, we're staying late, we're doing extra hours on our vacation, we're checking emails when we should be relaxing. We're doing so much stuff. And at the end of the day, we're also stressed about money. We're fighting over money. As a marriage and family therapist with his own practice in Stockbridge, Georgia, Karen Hart Consulting, I deal with a lot of couples who struggle with money. A lot of the fights over money, even in church. You got pastors who can't retire and sit down somewhere because they got to keep the money coming. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of stuff. It's all tied together. Mm. The Bible said money answers all things, but a lot of our problems is dealing with money. And so if we can make wealth real, and there's a difference between being rich and having wealth. Wealth allows the money to go to work and work as hard as you do. Now, if I got to go to work, why don't my money have to go to work? You see, if I'm going to work to clock in somewhere, I get upset when I see somebody going fishing, hunting, you know, they got their boat and I'm going to go clock in somewhere. They're going to the gym, working out, running, exercising, but I got to go clock in somewhere. You see what I mean? So I want to live that life where I don't have to worry about my money because my money is working for me. Whatever little I have, I'm putting it in the right places. And now my money is making money. And that's what MWR does for a lot of my people. Uh, Woo! <laughs> hey, Johnny, or Mr. Porter, as we, as we call you, you said a mouthful, man. Yeah. 
Well, it's a good secret, man. A lot of people don't know it. And unfortunately, sometimes uh, the blessing is hidden in the details. I know people say the devil's in the detail. No, the blessings is in the details. And the Bible says my people perish for the lack of knowledge. And sometimes a lot of my people don't know stuff because sometimes they don't have the patience or the intolerance or the discipline to do the work and the due diligence to look into it. And sometimes we, 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 we get afraid because it sounds too good to be true. But the word says steady plotting, bring it success. That's biblical. So a lot of my teachings is, is a lot to do with scriptures that God has already given us. The Bible actually has over 800 and something plus scriptures that deals with faith and money and, uh, and stewardship. And so uh, a lot of times we get a little timid and think that we have to be impoverished and, uh, and poor in order to make it into the kingdom of heaven. And uh, of course, we have to behave ourselves, but God has given us money so that we can do things. And if you read the rest of Deuteronomy 18, he said he gives us the power to obtain wealth so that his work may be established upon the earth. So we make this resource and do these things so that we can do the things. How blessed are you to be able to provide music? How wonderful would it be to go and do that music knowing that your family is taken care of? And so if you're not taking care of your family, the Bible said you're worse than an infidel. So as a musician, how wonderful and peaceful mind, how much peace of mind would you have knowing that even though you're out here entertaining the world and doing that, that your family is good, your legacy is good, you're good. Hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> impact impact well um tell you what we're gonna have to bring the clock is just staring us in the in the face so well, we're gonna invite you back we gotta have you back maybe make this kind of, of a series and so forth so so thank you so real quickly give that info out again before we sure go. sure uh let me give you it's uh it's uh uh, <laughs> I want to give you my personal email as well, but my the information is mwrfinancial.com slash empower365 or mwrfinancial.com make, I'm sorry, mwr.com slash grace wt works. Okay, there you have it. The one and only Mr. Johnny Porter. Thank you for spending time with us and educating our listeners as well as us okay my pleasure thanks for having me thank you all right and that's a wrap for this week's edition of music marvels with the chico beats and bruzy gibson once again we thank you for joining us we thank our home stations grander radio out of grand rapids michigan and sparks radio out of atlanta georgia yes yes you know and, and both of those organizations are putting in a lot of work behind the scenes making some things happen in their respective ways so yeah a huge shout out to both of them yes absolutely so we'll be back next week same time same place you know where to find us tune in tell a friend we'll see you then peace peace